Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be creating like a short series where I show you how to create a login slash register system using a database so we're going to be connecting to a server and for the server we're going to be using free MySQL hosting uh, but if you have already have your own server with MySQL installed and stuff you can use that it's perfectly fine obviously you'll just need like the IP uh, just to connect to it within Visual Studio uh, so yeah that's it really so all of this stuff I'll leave links to in the description but basically you want to come to free MySQL hosting if you want free uh, and you just want to start your free account now you just need to put your email in and as you can see they send you a couple of emails um, basically once you're logged in you want to just set your password and start up the server so once you've pressed start up uh, they will send you the details now I'm not gonna hide this it's just I'm never gonna use this database again after this video so the passwords and stuff are here but once you've created your database and if you get stuck and it doesn't let you you just need to save uh, the location you want the server to be from I selected Europe um, so you select whatever location you want and start the server they will email you this information. Now once you've got that, you can close this tab and you want to come to phpmyadmin.co and uh, you want to grab the host and you just want to log in so you can actually manage the database. So the host, then they need the username, which is that. And then they also need the password, which is that and then you just want to put in this capture and log in <coughs> and once you're in you want to select the database uh, close that and we want well it's empty there's nothing in it so we want to create a table uh, so the table name we can just call it actually I think, yeah, we could just user and for columns. Oops, I did a lot of them by mistake. Let me just go back. What have I done? Uh, I've lost it. If we go into here. There we go create user and we want four columns so we're gonna have four sort of things what we want is the ID so each person that signs up they get an, a unique ID so you can identify people uh, underneath that we want to have the username and we want obviously the password and possibly if you want the email, I'll I won't be sh using the email, but if you want to have that, just so it's there, I'll show you how to do it anyway. So for the ID, uh, we want to leave this as an integer, and we can just say maximum eleven. Um, we can leave that, leave that. Uh, we want this to be leave that as well. No primary needs to be our primary key and also auto increment tick that so each one it will add it will go up so the first one will be one the new person will be two and so on it goes up itself uh, for the username we can use avarka or whatever you want to pronounce that and we want to do that for all three um, for the username we can just say the maximum we want or, or allow will be 20 uh, the password we can say 20 as well and the email let's just say 30 and we can leave all this how it is and just press save so that should have created our table now now if we go into it which I think we already were but here we go we can I believe we can insert 
some stuff. Right, so. That's our database done, so you'll leave that like this. So what we want to do is open up Visual Studio. And I've already created the project, but nothing's done. So if you want to open the create a new project, make sure it's Visual Basic project because a lot of people who watch these videos get confused and they create C sharp projects. Um, but yeah, make sure it's Visual Basic and open this up. So once we're in here, yeah, you just want to make it look a bit nice. Uh, so we'll need a few things just go into the toolbox we want a button let this load uh, we also want the label two labels actually so you can copy and paste that and you want two text boxes where we'll actually enter the username and password. Copy and paste that. And we can just change these labels. User name. Oops. Username there. We'll just align these a little better. So we got this, and you can also create one more button, uh, put it here, and just put this one to register. Now we sort of want to do the same thing, so we make this a little bit smaller now. Uh, we create, go to project, and then add Windows form, and we can call this uh, register that and inside here we can if we go to this form copy this oops so yeah, you want to copy that come over here paste it and drag it in save you some time uh, and except we want to change this button now to red or we can leave that as that and we want to change the login button and we'll just change this to cancel so we can go back if you don't want to do it so obviously we're going to need to register to create an account before we can log in uh, but we'll be doing that next time but if we actually go to the database and we need to add in um, some rows so how we do this is we Go into, I believe it's insert, and we want to just put in here one username. We can just say test, password is password, and email we can just put test uh, at gmail.com, like that. And we'll just press uh, go. So if we go back now to the user, you can see we got number one, test, password, and test at gmail.com. Um, so we got one account now. So next time I'll be showing you how to code this to make it work, which will be uploaded probably tomorrow or tonight. The reason I'm cutting it up is because I don't want one massive video so yeah the, the video should be coming every day till this is complete uh, so yeah if you did enjoy it please be sure to like and comment and I'll see you next time